Iconic capitals in the world have something it is famous for. For instance, Los Angeles has Hollywood, New York has the Statue of Liberty, Paris has the Eiffel Tower, London has the London Bridge. And what about Williamstad? It is colors, vibrant colors, paraded in unique building structures and murals. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My intent in this video is to show you what to visit in Williamstad, Curacao. These are must-visit places. The best part is, the places mentioned are free to visit and are within walking distance from each other. I am pretty sure there are places that I missed in this video, so please message me on the comment section so that the other travelers will be able to add them to their itinerary. Given that the street names are not in English, please forgive me if I mispronounce them. And by the way, if you want to watch my top 5 things to do in Curacao, please click the link above. Let's get started. For me, the first place to explore on a visit to the capital is the historic Peter Mai neighborhood. This neighborhood is one of the most iconic and popular places in Curacao. It is diverse with various clubs, bars, cafes, souvenir shops, hotels, and other accommodations. All this diversity takes place in these iconic colonial homes that are part of the island's heritage. When we were walking on Peter Mai Street, I kept on stopping to take photos and video footages of almost all the buildings we passed by because I was fascinated by its colors and architecture. Punda District is the home to many tourist attractions. The first place you should visit and take pictures or videos of yourself is the world Dushi and Curacao sign in Queen Wilhelmina Park. You can't miss this. It will be a good souvenir photos. The park is near cafes, souvenir shops, the colorful police station building and of course, brightly colored Temple Emmanuel, which used to be a synagogue but now the public prosecutor's office. One of the best ways to learn about the culture of the island is to try the local food at the old market, plus a beer. This is an airy, rustic market with picnic tables and counters with open kitchens serving authentic Curacao dishes. They have local favorites like fried red snapper, goat stew, pumpkin pancakes, and cactus stew. You will notice that the majority of the people in the market are locals because it is the locals' favorite for lunch. On top of the pastel-colored buildings, Willemstad's vibrant street art scene adds additional layer of paint to the island's visual landscape. Small and large wall paintings dot the streets of Kunda and in Otrobanda. But the best murals are in Skarlo Abu. The streets are very popular with tourists and have become a growing outdoor museum in Curacao. The Three O'Clock Romance by Francis Ling is my favorite. The murals covers the facade of the building. Within the area, there is a small art studio called Artco, where local artists display their work of art. When we visited the Artco, one of the local artists was there. The most breathtaking part of Kunda is no doubt Handelscape. This is the most beautiful stretch of the pier you've seen on most photos when you Google Curacao. This historic waterfront strip is a vibrant reminder of Curacao's Dutch heritage. The collection of buildings that line the waters of Santa Ana Bay are reminiscent of the Amsterdam canals with one difference. They are brightly colored, so go ahead and take a lot of photos and videos. If you are done taking photos, grab a seat at one of those outdoor cafes and watch the Queen Emma Bridge, also called the Swinging Old Lady, as it swings open to let the ship into the harbor. After watching the boat go through the bridge, head to Punda Love Heart, which is near the entrance to the bridge. Lock your love to one another, symbolically of course. If you don't have a lock, you can buy a lock at Island Treasures Souvenir Store that is just 
steps away from Punda Lovehart. Crossing the Queen Emma Bridge is another unique experience as you can feel the bridge slightly moving as it floats over the water. In Otrobanda, you can explore Briong Square, Brefort Village, Museums, and the cruise ship terminal. I hope you enjoy exploring Willemstad Curacao with me. If you wanted to watch our experience in Klein Curacao, please click the thumbnail. Until next time, bye for now.